Alright then, it's been uh, quite a while since I did last did a poke openings. And as you can see in front of me, I've collected quite a few uh, random things for this episode. Uh, so we have the Pokeball thing. There are three packs of Team Up, and we have five, six, no, six packs of Unbroken Bond. Um, yeah, these are just packs I kind of picked up going, you know, to my local game shop now and then. Uh, never got around to opening them, and I was like, ah, I'll just do a video. So I think we're going to start with this, um, because those I'm quite excited for. This I'm more curious about. I think I watched one video or so in opening it, but, um, that's about it. So, ooh, yay! Okay, it does open quite easy, because, um, yeah, my concern was I need, like, a knife or something for this. Oh, okay, this isn't quite as easy as I thought. Ah, wait, oh yeah, now, I can hear, well, I could hear a coin inside, so... Move these to the side. I've also got two little uh, sleeves here from uh, Forbidden Light, just in case we do pull something. Ooh. Okay, interesting. So the top, I thought it would be the other way around. That's cool. So we have three packs and a coin. Okay, what is the coin? Oh, nice. It's a kind of um, silver rainbow deoxys. Very nice. I think I have a few of these. I really like the symmetrical coins. They look a lot cooler. Um, right, well. And then obviously this goes back nicely on there, maybe? Hang on. Hey! It's a good looking thing, actually. I purely bought this for the ball. And we have three... Ooh. Three very... F ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, that's... Mm, I mean, they're, they're not opened or anything, but that doesn't look great. So let's see, we've got a break... Wow, a breakthrough! Holy shit, that's old. We have a Crimson Invasion and a Burning Shadows. Ooh, that's the one with that really valuable Charizard, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll crack these open, I guess, and then get on to Team Up and then Unbroken Bonds. It's going to be a bit of a long episode, I think, today. But hey, there's no time limit or ever, and there are, like... 9, uh, 11 card packs to open, so basically it's more than a trainer, um, elite trainer box. So I think it's 3 to the front, isn't it? Uh, I hope so. Well, like, oh, Sand Slash, yeah, I've never seen this Sand Slash card before. Very nice, is it focusing? Yes, it is. Okay. Next we have an Ursa Ring. Ooh, Fishing Rod, uh, Super Rod, sorry. Very nice. Uh, Froki, yeah, I've definitely seen that one before. Oh, nice, we got a Zora with people. Yo, I swear I haven't opened... What is this? Breakthrough? Just must not have opened many packs of it or something then, because that's really nice art. I do like ones that have, like, the trainers and stuff in them, you know? Oh, we got a chess spin with, like, a farmer. Is that a breeder, I think, from, like, the XY games? I could... Oh, and another chess spin. They do that sometimes. The sets will have two... Versions of the same Pokemon. Oh, Rufflet! Yo, I haven't seen Rufflet in years. Can't wait to play with him in this uh, Pokemon Sword and Shit. Oh, wait, oh, probably not. Okay, then. Uh, we have a Staryu. Just chilling, soaking it all in. Get it? There's a water type. Ah. Ooh, Marowak. Yo. It's a pretty good looking Marowak. Oh, what? Hang on, wait. What was our reverse? Hang on. Ah, oh, Star you was the reverse. Right, sorry, Marowak's so rare. How did I not pick that up at all? Wow, yeah, it, it's very clearly a reverse. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, Marowak for the rare. Very nice. Uh, I'm not really expecting any, like, major pulls, to be honest, from any of these packs. Um, especially the team-up ones, because uh, if you watched my team-up elite trainer box video, you'll know that I pulled... Shit, really. Um, I bought an entire boost, uh, yeah, uh, an elite trainer box, sorry, and I got one hollow, which, um, not great, this is Sun and Moon, isn't it? Yes, so, four to the front, we'll begin with the fire energy. What have I done? Oh shit, is this the rare? Hang on. No, it's not. What? Okay. Uh, a chinchino. We have a peaking red card. Oh, mill tank. That's really cute. We have a Hakomo. Um, yeah, that's not the rare either. Okay. Oh, we have a very similar style you actually to that last one, like a slightly different angle of it. Oh, yo, Pumpkaboo! I love this artwork. Big fan of Pumpkaboo. Anyway, we have a 
Stuffle, very cute. Oh, a Lolan Geodude, nice. Look at them thick eyebrows. Uh, that's not our reverse. We have a Cacnea. Our reverse hey, is a Starly. Very cute. Really dig the uh, the sort of reverses that actually give you the element of the Pokemon. And our rare. Oh, nice. Is a Hydreigon. Hydreigon? Hydreigon. Either one. He's a cool Pokemon. I definitely don't have that card either. So, so far... So there's no energies in this at all. Is this does say 11, doesn't it? 10. Ah, okay then. Wow, it was lucky I did four to the front then, and not three, because, um... Yeah, because otherwise we'd have pulled the rare and then one after. All right. Burning Shadows. Can we get that secret rare Charizard that's worth, like, a lot of money? Although, admittedly, regardless of how much the card is worth, Unless I got like a double of it or something, I don't think I'd, I'd ever sell the card. Um, and even then, like, I don't know, I don't sell cards in general. Anyway, hey, Grass Energy, there we are. Um, let's begin. Metapond. Oh, we have Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Get that, Metapod, really. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I do like seeing Pokemon themed items in the Pokemon world, if that makes sense. We have a Rhydon, a Sneasel, a Alolan Vulpix, horsey looking cute. We have a Noibat flying through a cave, a Alolan Grimer in a hazardous area, I guess. Um, oh, Noibat again, and oh, yo! Oh, shit, son! Yo, what? Hang on. Is this one of the... <gasps> Yo, hang on, I'll be back. Holy fuck, okay, this is a secret rare. <laughs> oh, yo, this is like the full art dark... I remember hearing of these. Yo, shit, hang on. Wait, I'm, I'm getting a sleeve. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right then, that's made the whole video right there. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, so I know it's not like the flashiest... Um, Secret rare to get, I suppose, but like, yo, this is, so it's number 168 out of 147, so yeah, this is a secret rare, energy, that's damn nice, I mean, reverse energies already are cool, but like, oh man, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly check, um, and put on the side of the screen there, like, the value of this card, how much it's worth, again, never gonna sell it, obviously, but yo, haha, <laughs> holy shit, son, okay, that's, Fuck, should have kept this till the end, because that would have been the last... Ah, oh well. We are set for only disappointment from here on out. Uh, hopefully not, but hey. Right, I'm going to clean everything up and I'll be right back. Alright then, I am back. I'm keeping that Pokeball in the background. Uh, yeah, let's just crack in the team up. Let's see, which pack should we do first? Uh, let's do this. Venusaur and Celebi first. Now, as I mentioned, I don't actually... I have nothing... Um, sorry about that. I have nothing uh, of real value from the team up set because I think I have... Actually, wait, no. I think I have, like, a Prism Star card. Oh. Believe green means we're not getting anything good, boys. <laughs> okay, then. Um, water Energy. Very nice. Let's get on to it. Rapidash. So, even if I can get a hollow, I consider it a victory with this set. Return Label. Kangaskhan. Ooh, Voltorb. Yo, I really like that art. That's really cool. I love Voltorb and Electrode. Uh, oh, ha, ha. oh, that's a really adorable Weedle. Oh. We've got a Vullaby. Ooh, very thick-looking Dratini. Uh, more like, you know, chubby, I suppose. Not thick. Uh, we got a Zorua. Our, ooh, okay. Our reverse is Nanu. That's cool. Ah, oh, he's the police officer, isn't he? And our rare is a Zeb Striker, which I believe I've pulled about three of now from the set. I've only opened like ten cards, but I've already got three of them. Uh, right, that's that may be hyperbole. Let's go for the Pika Rom pack next, which I've seen it being called online. It's quite a good card, I think. Uh, right, I'm gonna get the code card out. Um, out of shot of it this time. Let's see. So it's 
there for let's begin psychic energy Alolan Graveler we have Nita ah yes one of the other um, Battle Chateau girls that's nice uh, we have Taurus ah really adorable Squirtle there we have a Bronzo uh, very what is it doing oh is it like attached to a is this what? Oh no! Oh, there's a mirror. Oh, the mirror looks like a. Okay, I get it. I thought there was like a cord attached to the back of Bond's. Almost like that's weird. I oh, asked Clafky cleaning up the beach, maybe. Although he's just dropping keys everywhere. We have a Pidgey in the Molga. Oh yay! Reverse of that card. All right. I'm actually genuinely quite pleased with that. And our rare is an Alolan Muck, which I'm also kind of pleased with because. He is my favourite Alolan form. Right, well, so far, our Sun and Moon luck has been, you know, that Sun and Moon team-up luck has not been great, but whatever. Uh, hey, okay, this is the correct way this time. So, code card to the side. Let's guess water energy. Ooh, no. Hey, but it is the one that I've got a secret rare of. Sorry, and knock the camera then. Uh, we have Nidorino. Ooh, nice. A Judge Whistle. What does that do? Oh, that's really cool. So you can either draw a card or put a Judge card from your discard pile into your hand. I presume there's like a subset of items, if that makes sense, that are like themed after Judge things. That's cool. Yeah, well... I'm really out of touch with the TCG in general. I still like collect and stuff. We've got a Volby and Rotini. Um, but yeah, I've I've not played the game in years. I I do I do mean to play it online back now and then, but I just never got around to it. We have a Zorua, a Psyduck. We've got an Emolga. Ooh, Reverse Magikarp, looking very nice. Can we end this with a Hollow? <laughs> no, we can. Oh shit, we can. Okay. Oh, yo! Ha <laughs> ha! That's a sick looking hollow, man. Alright, I'm, I'm genuinely like pleased with that. Those three packs there. I think we. We came out on top. That's, that's really nice. That's like the rest of the card and stuff. Because, yeah, the hollow effect is all like rainbowy and stuff. Also, Evil Tal is the best legendary of Gen 6. Uh, fight me. Don't fight me. Please, please don't fight me. Right. It is on to Unbroken Bonds, which is a set I've not opened any of. So let's see, we've got Machamp Marshadow, we have Melmetal and Lucario, we have <laughs> Gardevoir and Sylveon. Now, they know, they know us up, right? With that, like, that cover, they, they know us up. They, they know how popular these two are online, if you get my drift. Uh, another Melmetal, ooh, Reshiram and Charizard, very nice. And another Machamp thing. So, let's do a Melmetal first. Now, I'm going to try and be a little bit careful with this one. Uh, just because I, I like to keep one of each, like, design. Oh, yay, that was kind of clean. Not going to lie. Let's hope. Yay, okay, this is the correct way to do it, then. Uh, right. Let's pull that out. Put code card to the side. Four to the front. Uh, fire energy, I'm going to guess. Nope, fighting. Okay, then. We have... <laughs> is that's is that a fidget spinner? Is that actually a fidget spinner? What? The, uh, okay, then. Oh, yo! Charger Bug! Oh, man. You know, I've not seen him forever. I really like Charger Bug. I know he's kind of a weird design, but... Ooh, a Chip Chip Ice Axe. Fair enough. It could just call, be called Ice Axe. Oh, yo. Tentacool and a very... Oh, yo. Is that a ninja? Ninja boy. Oh, right. Okay, that's a ninja tentacle. All right. I'm 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 definitely digging that. I've got Key Art Aaron to follow, basically. He's on a beach somewhere. Very nice. Oh, you got Sandshrew in the sand being all cute and like a cat, but he's not. We have Gaistly. Um... Yeah, just kind of flowing about. Very nice. Our reverse is not this. I am mixing things up. We have a Tangela. I really like Tangela. 
Our, oh, okay, our reverse is the ghastly we just pulled. Very nice. And our red, ah, oh, our red is a Raichu. Very cool, okay. Raichu is one of those weird Pokemon, you know, in that, like, it's not an unpopular Pokemon, and, you know, it certainly gets its representation, even got an Alolan form. But, like, equally, I think because Pikachu is so popular, they, you know, sometimes like, oh, hey, yeah, here's also Raichu. Um, I really like his design. Oh, oh, okay, I slightly ripped that one, but it's fine. I just really like... Oh, this is opening really easy. Yeah. Apart from that corner. Hey, there we go. Right. Put that to the side. Four to the front. Let's begin with fun and water, is what I was going to say. Um, definitely not fire. Uh, we have a Crocorock who... Why... Why is the Crocorock line so prevalent in the card game? Every set, I swear, has like the Crocorock Crocodile line. I don't understand it. They're, they're not that cool. Anyway, we got Graveler. Ah, oh, him on top. Walking. That's a weird one. Of most him on top cards are in on, on you know on its head, sort of spinning around. Uh, it also looks like he's just got. Oh, okay, no, there is a third left foot. It's just. Hidden, fair enough. We got a Rattata in a cave. That's kind of cool. Wait, is that? Oh, there's berries he's got there. Yeah, he's protecting his berries. That's actually really cute. It's like Pokemon in the wild. We have a slightly uh, alluring looking Goldeen. Uh, maybe washed up somewhere or is it just surfing? I can't tell. Oh, yo! A Lolan Diglett. Yes. Yeah, boy, Ram. It does ten. Ten. You know. Well, hey. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, look how happy that Slowpoke is. He's such a happy boy. Uh, we have a Litten. Pretty cool. Our reverse. Ooh, yo, it's a Growlithe. Very cute Growlithe. Very floofy looking Growlithe. And our rare is a Gengar. Ooh, doing the sort of... I thing. In, you know, like, in Japanese stuff, you get, like, the trail of light or whatever. Shadow pain. And that affects EX. It affects EXs? Man, we haven't had sets with an EX card since the start of, like, Sun and Moon, I think? Okay. And uh, that's very aimed at, like, older things. Surely they'll be out of rotation, rotation soon, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, let's start, uh, let's open the Reshiram and Charizard one next. Uh, slightly more careful with this one. I think this might be the coolest uh, pack art as well. Like, just like that. That's pretty darn cool. Slightly reminiscent of um, Godzilla. King of the Monsters, by the way, is a phenomenal film if you're a big Godzilla fan. Uh, right, let's begin with Giovanni's Exile. Oh, yo! Is there like Team Rocket based cards in this set? Oh man! Can you imagine if they made a Team Rocket set a la the old Team Rocket sets? That would be really cool. Oh, yo, Porygon 2! What? He's in space, maybe? I really like that art actually. It's kind of like pastel y and stuff. That's really, that's really nice looking. Uh, right, hey, next we got a coughing set. Ah! That's a rocket grunt. Yo! Okay, so we got like a sort of rocket theme going on here. I like this. Got Doduo in the desert. Ah! Oh, we got Poliwag just chilling in a chilling in a river. Very cute. We have a Spritzy! Yay! I don't actually know anyone who loves Spritzy. Um, oh, got a really cute Licky Tongue. Holy shit. Ah, oh, I really like Licky Tongue as well. That's another Pokemon that I feel like really underrepresented. Apart from apart from the card game, actually. We have Kartana Ultra Beast. Um, obviously, it's an Ultra Beast card. Is this a rare? Yes, it is. This is a reverse rare. That's very nice. Cartana's pretty cool, and... <gasps> Yo! K! Holy shit! We've we've done it, boys! We've actually pulled AGX from a team-up set. Oh, yo! Hunchcrow! Oh, man! 
I know it's like a GX and it was not a team up one or whatever, but oh, I'm happy with that. That's pretty. D Yo, this this episode has been far and beyond better than an entire elite trainer box that I opened up. I, I mean, I I know like. Technically, I've kind of changed the seeding um, of packs because I bought these over the course of two months or something. So, like, they'll be from different booster boxes. But, like, damn. I mean, we've got a Secret Rare and a GX. We've got, like, a Hollow? Two Hollows? No, one Hollow, I think, so far. It's pretty good, man. Uh, Darkness Energy. We have a Welder. Very nice. Oh, cool, cool outfit there. We've got a Leron. Oh yeah, doing a kind of weird pose. He's kind of saluting. Let's move on. Uh, we have a Glyscore. That's cool. Wonder if he's owned by the ninja guy as well. Probably because he looks very ninja esque. We have a Glamiao. Uh, sitting by a mirror and stuff. No, a window. Sorry, not a mirror. Wait, what's that, that there? Oh, that's a Finneon. Wait, is, is, is that a real Finneon? Or is that a Finneon like toy for Glamio to play with? Because... I, I Oh, please, no, put put the Finneon back in his... Yo, is that a tank behind it? No, that is that is a window, isn't it? Because there's sun coming from it. Okay, then. Well, put that Finneon back, Glamio. No one really likes you. Skitty's better. All right, we've got a Diglett bursting through into someone's room. Well, that's inconvenient, isn't it? Thank you, Diglett. Wait. What? Yeah. I. So that's a Team Rocket guy as well. I can't tell if that's Giovanni through the view finder. It looks like it is. Why is Diglett... Because that's like a floor. That's like a wooden floor. He's burst through it, and Giovanni, or whoever it is, seems pretty happy about it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is a set with two Poliwag cards. Very, very impressed with that. Okay. Wouldn't mind pulling a Polyrath, to be honest. We have an Inke chilling by some trees. We have Ninja Tentacruel, Tentacool again, sorry. We've got a reverse being a Rayhorn. Very cool. I pulled a Raydon, I think. Was it from this set? I can't remember. And our rare is a Meow Stick. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Here's one of his moves called Cataday. Draw three cards. If you do, this Pokemon is now asleep. That's fine. I, I get it, because obviously cats nap a lot. Um, yeah. Well, right, we're down to our last two packs. I'm going to keep the waifu pack until last. Pokefu, waifu, you know what I mean. You, if you're a Pokemon fan and you've been online, you know what I... Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just rip this one, because uh, ruined it already. If you've been online and you're a Pokemon fan, you've seen the art of Gardevoir and Sylveon. So, you know... Anyway, right, ooh, steel, hey, I don't get to see steel energies all that much. Uh, we have Frogadier, very cool. Ooh, Beastbringer, very odd name, Catcher would have been more appropriate, but whatever. Ooh, Power Plant, man, this is very, like, Kanto-based then, isn't it? Because I'm presuming it's the Kanto Power Plant, I could be wrong. Hey, we got a Cubone. Very nice. Admittedly, I said the Crocorock like line I'm bored of, but Cubone seems to be in more sets, and I fucking love Cubone, so you know, I am biased, I suppose. Riolu walking around a shop, I think, a store. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got Polygon, very nice. He's in cyberspace as well, like his evolved form. We have Inke by that tree again. We have Ah, oh, Caterpie! Chilling by some flowers in slightly like exaggerated art. Oh, a reverse is a Malamar. Man, that's really cool. I don't know what the circle thing is. Is that like. Oh, is this like a Team Rocket thing? Is this their like scope thing? Like, sir, we found one. And our rare is a Crab. Oh, Crabominable! A. Yo, sorry, this art is so busy, it took me a solid, like, few seconds to work out what the fuck was going on. I really like Crabominable. Um, Crab Roller was one of my favourite Pokemon from uh, Sun and Moon, I think. He was really cool. Right, well, our last pack. Can we get some last pack pulls, lads? 
in the comment section, let me uh, use hashtag last pack pulls. Uh, don't, it's fine. Ooh, okay, they're, they're open a lot cleaner than I anticipated. Uh, right, okay, let's see if we can get the cards out. Hey, yes we can. Can we end on something nice? Honestly, a hollow is, is more than enough now. We have Darkness NG yet again. We have Metal... Metal... <laughs> I said corn for a second, sorry. Metal Core Barrier. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tentacruel. There we are, to go with our ninja boys. Uh, we have Ultra Forest Carten... Cartenvoy. What? What does this do, then? Oh, right, okay, sorry, I, I had to read this. So, yeah, basically, if you play it, your Ultra Beasts can attack and they're not affected by your opponent's active Pokémon, which is nice, like, effects of it. That's a really cute-looking Geo, dude. Like, really cute. What the fuck? Okay. We have Litten. Froggy, chilling out, We're doing his frubbly things. Hey, Crab Roller, there we are. we got the Crab Roller set. Very nice. Oddish in the field of dreams. That's a slightly derpy looking. Why is this face so small? Uh, right. Oh, okay. It says to charge the battery pack. Um, very close to the end now. We have a reverse Pikachu. Very cute artwork, actually. And on the end... Ooh. Oh. Oh, yo. Oh, shit. I forgot they did. Yo, it's a hollow trainer. That's cool. And it's red. That's even cooler. It's Red's Challenge. Oh, that doesn't seem the best effect, though. You've got to discard two cards to search your deck for one. Okay, but it is a rare, and that's... Re Holy shit, how many... 214 cards in this set? My god, like... Assuming, obviously, the secret rares, that's like almost 230 or something. That's cool, though, man. Hollow Trainers. Genuinely kind of missed Hollow Trainers. I forgot when they stopped doing it, but... Ah, oh, it was so cool. Anyway, right, um, I'm going to have to end it now because my battery is almost dying and there's not much more to say. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pretty, pretty darn good video. Uh, I'll end by just focusing on this lovely, lovely secret rare dark energy. Um, you know, I'll be putting up other videos soon and stuff. Uh, probably a snack uh, Japan crate thing next week. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.